I want you to imagine what it would actually be like to be living a life that you'd love. To be living as the fullest expression of who you are and to be really living into and nourishing the gifts that you have. I want you to take a moment to imagine what that would actually be like. And I want to acknowledge that for most of you watching this, life doesn't look like that right now. I want to acknowledge that for most of you, you're actually trapped in a life that you don't truly love. Living a life that you've been told to create and following a path that doesn't actually align with your truth. I just want to start by acknowledging that. And I want to talk about how we actually move you from that space into the life that you love. I want to talk about how we actually do this. So the first thing that we're going to do is set intentions. Intentions are everything. Knowing what it is that you actually want to create, knowing what it is that you're actually going for, means that that's where your focus can be. It means that that's where your energy can be focused. And if your energy is focused on something, it means that you can actually create it. So everything that I do, we always start with setting intentions. And I have a really powerful process that I take you through to do this. Once we've got you prepared, once we've actually set up the space energetically in your being, but also in your life through intention, the first thing that we do is intuition training. The very first module is all about you connecting to your innate wisdom, connecting to your truth and accessing your state of creative orientation. We want to harness your natural ability throughout this entire program and we're going to. So that's why intuition training is first up. We wanna make sure that you understand what intuition is and how to utilize it. We wanna make sure that you understand innocence and how to cultivate an experience of innocence in your life so that you can always be living in that space of wonder, in that space of joy and seeing the world through the lens of magic. I want to teach you tools of intuition so that you can observe the obvious things in your life and really see where the energy is wanting to move you, where magic is wanting to move you so that you can be trained to see it and not let it go by, not let these opportunities be wasted. I want to teach you how to truthfully interpret symbols for yourself that you receive intuitively, but also that you receive in your everyday so that you can move through your life with the natural flow of energy that your heart's pulling you through. I'm also going to teach you how to intuitively make decisions so that you can know that the decisions you're making are true for you and are not influenced externally. And I'm also going to teach you how to give intuitive readings. Now, I know it's not true for everybody to have a business of intuitive readings, but being able to do them, being trained in them means that you can actually give yourself a reading on anything in your life, which can give you so much clarity, be it relationships, be it business, be it fun, be it travel, whatever it is, it can give you so much clarity. And we know that when you're confused, you don't act. Confusion is the enemy of action. So if we can give you this tool that allows you to have clarity on literally anything in your life whenever you need it, and also allows you to support people in your life or support your community, even support your creations, then I want to give you that tool. And that's what intuitive readings does. So that's the first module. The second module of our program is awareness. 
It's really about you developing self-awareness and illuminating your dysfunction so that from the get-go, you can be aware of what's going to come up for you. The reality is that when you're going for something that you love, when you're creating something that you've not lived yet, your resistance is going to come to the surface. Your ego is going to have something to say about that. So if we can develop an awareness in you and give you tools early on in the creative process in order to move through that resistance as it comes and not live into it, it means you're going to be able to create a lot more powerfully and you're going to be able to move a lot faster if that's what's true for you. So we're going to go through what to actually do when your stuff comes up because it's going to come up. How to stop and how to anchor in your new way of being. How to anchor in the version of you that you're choosing to become. And not just accidentally living into a path that's already been laid out in front of you. The next thing that we're going to look at is vision. How to have a true vision. How to have a daily practice that's actually going to move you from where you are to where you're going to be. How to have a daily practice that doesn't have to take a large amount of time, but will focus in your energy so that you really can choose what's going to be in your reality. It's really important that you know that the life you're creating is something that you've chosen and that the daily practice that you're implementing is actually unique to you. It's your daily practice. It's not my daily practice filtered. It's actually the true essence of the practice that you need to get your focus on point for what you want to create. We need to make sure that those goals are true and that you're actually anchoring them in. And that's what the daily practice is all about. Anchoring in true goals so that your visions can actually come to life. The next thing that we're going to do is go through the action steps, go through how you actually bridge the gap from where you are today to where you want to be, to that life that you'd love, how you can always know what your next best step is and what the best action is for you to put your energy into, what the best action is for you to focus on so that you can keep moving towards that life that you would love, so that You know your actions are coming from your heart. They're coming from your soul. They're coming from your truth. They're not coming from what other people are telling you to do. It's really coming from here. We want you to be able to bridge that gap yourself. And I want you to be empowered to always know how to bridge that gap. We're also going to do a live training in that segment about energy investments, about how to know whether investments are true for you to be making and where your energy is going, where it maybe is leaking and where it could be focused more clearly. When you're connected to that space, when you're connected to what you truly want to invest in, what you truly want to invest time, money, energy, relationships, conversations in, that's when life can really unfold for you. That's when the beauty can be created before your eyes because you're actually choosing what it is that you love and your energy and your focus is a match to that. In this module, we also go through a spirit guide connection. And now the spirit guide for my spiritual peeps will be a very real experience. It will be a real guided process for you to actually tap into your guides for you to have that conversation, for you to create that space in your life. For other people, you can use the spirit guides as a symbol for what's true for you or as a symbol as yourself. It just depends what's true for you, but spirit guide connection is super powerful, super powerful. So I'm really excited for you to dive into that. Once we've connected to all of those things, all of those intuitive tools, the next thing that's really important to connect to is your mission action plan. 
Now that you've got a vision for the life that you want to move towards, we can have a more detailed look at what the action is going to be. What's the mission? What's your impact? How do you want to do it? Do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to be a speaker? Do you want to be an artist? Do you want to be a musician? We need to have a look at the details of who you're becoming and what that's going to look like in the world. And that's what the mission action plan is all about. It's about having a plan. It's about having a map for you to move through, for you to navigate through. So you know always where you're going. And even though you have structure, there's still freedom in your structure. We still want to have the spaciousness in your structure so that magic and unexpected things can come in. And that's what this structure allows you to do. It gives you clear vision on your purpose and your mission. It gives you that clear focus. And it also gets you organized. I know that as a visionary, it can be really difficult to organize sometimes. But I also know the spaciousness that comes into your life when you're organized and when you have clarity. So we do a mission action plan for the year ahead. And it's a structure that you can use for further than that in your life if you want to. I always do a year because I know that I grow so much in the space of a year. And I love sitting and doing a new plan at the beginning of every year. And then we're going to do a live training on branding. So it's really important that when you are creating, when you're putting your work out there to the world, that your brand's really in alignment with who you are. That your brand is in alignment with your message, with your core values, and also in alignment with the heart of what it is that you offer to the world. So we do a full training on how to get your branding in alignment, how to really make sure that your branding matches what it is that you're offering. Super important. And really fun. The next module is all about your avatar. It's all about discovering who your true avatar is, who your true client is, and developing that understanding of them. A multi-dimensional understanding so that you can really see what their problem is, so that you can really see how you can best be of service with your offerings and with your products, with your art, with your magic. So you can really understand them. You can really relate. You can really deeply connect to them so that they can then come on a journey with you. And also so that the energy around your business, the energy around your offerings can be really clear. It's really important that you're working with people that it's true for you to work with, that you've got people purchasing your products and circulating money through your business who really truly believe in what it is that you do who are really aligned with your work because everything is energy, right? So it's really important that the energy moving through your business is true, is healthy. So that's what that module is all about. It's about getting really clear and focused and compassionate for your avatar, for your ideal client, for where they're at and knowing their problem so that you can really help move them out of it in a way that's true for you. The next module is all about the entity. It's introducing yourself to your avatar and developing your journey with them. When I say entity, I don't mean something that's haunting you, although maybe it is if it's an idea that's been tapping on your shoulder for a while now. What I mean by that is an idea or a business or a brand that really wants to come through you, a product or an offering or an artwork that really wants to birth through you. The way I look at business is that what it is that we offer when we're really creating from a space of heart, it's like we're constantly giving birth. We're giving birth to this child that needs to be held that needs to be supported that needs to grow and develop and that's what our business is that's what our products are so it's really important that we're connected to that that we're connected to what that journey is going to be for that entity that we're connected to how the avatar connects to that entity how the client comes to understand the model and the product of the business and how to really create offers 
that are going to be a full yes for your ideal client. That it's going to be a no-brainer for them to come and work with you, for them to come on this journey with you. Because that's what it's all about, right? Aligning yourself with clients, with people who are actually going to be a full yes and a full alignment for purchasing with you, for investing in you, for investing in your product or your program and your offering, whatever that offer may be. So we do a whole segment on that. The next thing that we look at is alchemy. You guys remember in the first video, I told you that it was when I met an alchemist, when I really started to understand alchemy and the power of it and what it is and how it helps you understand the world and how the world works to support you, how the world works in terms of creating, that's when things started to really shift for me at a really rapid rate. And that's why alchemy is a part of this program. It's a part of learning how to monetize your magic and it's really integral. So we have an education on alchemy for you to really master that maintenance of your higher vibration and really maintain the experience of living in the creative orientation. We don't want you to live in the creative orientation occasionally or sometimes. We want you to really have tools so that you can stay there, so that you can hang out in that space, so that that can be your new normal. To monetize your magic, you really are going to be creating a new normal for yourself. And so I want to make sure that you're equipped with the understanding and with the tools to stay there, not just to be there for a minute, not just to live there for a moment, but to stay there. I'm also going to connect you to creative structure in the alchemy module so that you know how to really create in alignment. So you know the different elements that you need to create with. And also connect you to your greatness. To connect you to the part of you that is powerful. Because the truth is you are powerful. You're a powerful creator. You've created being in front of this training. You've created everything in your life. You've created all of the good stuff in your life. You've created. And all of the not so good stuff. Well, you can learn how to not create as much of that. It's really important that you can see yourself in your greatness because it's from that perspective that your magic is going to blossom into the world. It's from that perspective that you can really have your impact. And it also makes a huge difference if you can be trained in seeing other people in their greatness too. In seeing the awesomeness and seeing the gifts and seeing the power in other people. If you move through the world seeing other people as powerful, you're going to have a really powerful experience of life. It's just true. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. The next module that we do is all about community. It's how to fill that journey business with your ideal clientele. We look at how to know who your true community is and, and what's the true way for you to build community. And we also look at your true intimate community. The community in your life, that's your family, that's your loved ones, that's your friends, your family that you choose. We look at how to cultivate a really healthy support network for you in your community. And how to know if your community is really aligned for you. How to know if your intimate community is truly serving you right now. We look at the importance of theme in your community and in your world and your offerings so that your community don't get confused, so that your clients don't get confused. Because as you know, confusion is the enemy of action. So we want to make sure that the people in your community, that the people in your field are feeling really clear. So we look at how to do that. We look at how to deliver to your community with grace, with integrity, and how to start your community, because sometimes that's the scariest piece. Or if you already have a community, how do you funnel it into more alignment for yourself? How do you clear up the energy so that you can feel really good about it? So that you can feel really focused and true when you're in that community space. We're also going to look at how to connect to people on different levels. So how to connect 
in a conscious space, how to connect in the heart space, and also how to connect in the animal center, in the more primal version of you. Because it's when all of those centers are aligned that people will get a full yes to you. That's when the no and the like and the trust is really built. So we look at how to do that. We then do a full training on money and leveraging. We look at your relationship to money and shifting that into a really healthy space and also learning the power of leverage. Money is a conversation that triggers so many people. It brings up so much stuff. And if you look through your family line, you'll see so much stuff around money in both directions. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. I don't really think any of it is good or bad. I just think it's healthy and serving you or not. So we look at how to get that relationship to be serving you, to be really healthy. We look at what stories you have. How do you reframe them? How do you actually shift the energy in a lasting way? How do you manage finances once that energy has shifted and it is starting to accumulate, especially in regards to a business? And then how to leverage, how to make more money circulate towards you without having to necessarily invest a lot of your time leverage is about making things work for you so we look into that in quite a bit of detail you also get a couple of guided meditations to support you in this section because it's a big mindset shift for a lot of people wherever you are today we look at shifting that the last thing that we do in the money section is magical budgeting so i go through the process that i use to create a healthy creative tension whenever it is that i'm trying to up level or moving towards an up level in that space that i've used over and over and over again that works and that i've also used with my clients over and over and over again and it works i'm really excited about sharing that one with you because that alone really shifted things for me The next module is all about sales. It's about sharing your magic authentically, sharing your magic in integrity, sharing your magic in a way that can feel really good in your body, that can feel really good in your being. We look at how to have a healthy sales mindset. That's an integrity for you. We look at how to make sales intuitively, which is super cool. And we look at sales from a totally different perspective. We're really gonna shift your perspective on that piece so that you can have this really beautiful relationship with sales. The next segment that we do is on marketing. So we look at how you create leads for your business in integrity. That integrity piece is so important. It is so important that the leads coming to your business are already coming to you in a way that's true for you. Because it's going to mean that those leads are more likely to be true clients for you. So that's really important. I'm going to share with you my journey with marketing. And I'm also going to give you access to my own marketing wizard. (laughs) He's going to do some training in that segment for you. And he is fire. You're going to love him. The next segment after that is support. It is so important that you create a support framework for you when you when you build something, when you're putting something out into the world so that it can be successful. And so that it can be successful in a way that is really true for your heart. So what I mean by success is that you love it, that you're satisfied by it, that you feel fulfilled. That's what I mean by success. So we really want you to be able to create an ideal business team for you and support yourself for sustainable impact to really have different types of support in place to have a really healthy self-support to have a really healthy support happening in your inner circle to have invested support in your coaching that kind of area it's really powerful having investments and energetic investments going out to people who are experts in particular fields so that you can be supported in that field 
we're going to talk about how to have employed support how to know the right people from here for you to employ to be in your team how to really create that ideal team that is functioning in a highly creative space because it's true for everybody in that team to be there because everybody in that team is doing what they would love and we're also going to go through how to be a graceful ceo how to manage this new role that you're stepping into whether you're an artist or a musician or a creator or a teacher or a speaker or whoever you are when you step into that space when you step into monetizing your magic when you step into doing what you would love that version of you is going to be a leader in your business is going to be a leader in your creations and it's really important that you can manage that with grace it's really important that as you move into that space you know how to maintain it with integrity and you know how to keep your team functioning in that highly creative space you want to make sure that everybody's feeling really supported but also that you're supported and most importantly that your business is supported that your creations are being supported because that's the space where they can then have their greatest impact so we do a whole module looking at that in a lot of different lenses but it's really powerful it gets you really thinking about stuff and it gets you implementing it and that's the real medicine that's the real magic the next module that we do is about birthing it's about actually grounding that vision for your freedom business for your art for your offering into reality now that you've got all of these structures in place you've got a full awareness of what it is that you're creating you've got a full awareness of how it is you're going to birth that how, how it is that you want to create that in the world now we do it we ensure that all of your content actually meets the promises that you've made to your market that you've made to your avatar to your client or that you're going to make and we have you choose all the tools that you need to create successful workplace flow it is so important so important that you can birth with grace healthfully healthily <laughs> in a way where the mum or the dad you know the one giving birth is healthy and also the child is healthy the business is healthy it's really important i use that analogy a lot it still applies to you if you're a male so it's really important that when we're creating something that we don't just do the structures for it we want to actually follow through we want to actually get your magic out there we want you to actually be monetizing it that's the whole point so that you can step into that life that you would love we want you should be able to live in the path of least resistance. That's how you live the life that you love. That's how you really jump in that river, jump in that flow for your world. And then once we've done that, once we've grounded it in, we're going to do a completion process. The completion module is really about giving your subconscious the message that you follow through it's really about acknowledging yourself for what you've created because we so often forget to celebrate what we've achieved so it's about giving yourself the space to reflect to see how you perhaps would have done things differently or how you really nailed some stuff so that you can celebrate that and it also gives you the space in your subconscious to complete that chapter so that you can then open a new one so that you can then revisit your mission action plan and see okay well now that i've done all of that what next because it doesn't stop at just creating the one thing it doesn't stop at monetizing something for the first time you've got a vision to live into so it's really powerful to close off chapters when they're complete and then open the next chapter that's what the completion module 
is all about. And that's the journey that we go on. The journey is supported by me and my whole team that you get access to. The journey is supported in your mind through a whole bunch of meditations. There's meditations with each module and there's also a bunch of extra ones because the truth is you're going to be making a lot of changes. You're going to be growing. You're going to be shifting who you are and how you be as this human that you are. So we need to support you in that. The journey is going to be supported by a beautiful community that you get to be a part of. And it's going to be supported by you taking action. And that's the most important piece. That's going to be your greatest medicine. And I'm so excited for you. So here's what you can do. You're going to notice that on this page, there are a few different options for you. Some of you will have a whole bunch of questions. And if that's true, if that's you, then you can just book a call and ask the questions. Get those answers for yourself. See if this is something that's really true for you. Some of you will want to taste and that's okay too. So for those of you who want to taste, you can book an intuitive reading session for a discounted price. There's actually a half price discount available to you as a thank you for being here, as a thank you for watching this far, as a thank you for investing this time in yourself. Because I know if you're here, if you've gotten to this point in the training, if you've really watched all of this, I know that you really want this. That despite any doubt or beliefs that may be coming up, that your heart really wants you to create the life that's true for you. So there's a half price intuitive reading session there for you, if you want it. Or you can actually join us. If you're feeling the call, if you're feeling a full yes, then you can become a part of this community. You can become a part of this program and be supported by me and my team. If that's the case, you can book a call and set that in stone through the phone, or you can actually just book straight into the program and get started today. So take the action that aligns for you. Make sure that you take an action though, because that's how you're going to move. That's how you're going to move towards that vision. And I'm really looking forward to getting to know you, seeing you soon at a live event or a live workshop or a live training call. I'm really looking forward to seeing where you go on this journey. Lots of love to you. Get out there and share your magic with the world. That is the most important thing that you can do.